A revolution is coming in how we design and build our buildings. The developers, designers, builders, and advocates who are driving this revolution recognize that the old way of building, the status quo, is bad for our health inside and for our climate future outside. They also know that there's a vastly better way to build that's both cost-effective and scalable. We are just steps away from the site of the Boston Tea Party, where Sam Adams and a ragtag group of revolutionaries famously rebelled against the status quo, helped set the American Revolution into motion, and ultimately reshaped the modern world. Overlooking it all is this building, seemingly just one more glass skyscraper going up in Boston, this tech city. But this building, the Winthrop Center, is different. You might even call it the Sam Adams of skyscrapers. Developed by MP Boston, designed by Handel Architects, engineered by Stephen Winter Associates, and built by Suffolk Construction, this $1.35 billion project stands 691 feet tall and boasts 1.8 million gross square feet. It's hard to miss in Boston's skyline, situated as it is in the heart of the financial district on some of the most valuable land you'll find anywhere. The top 510,000 square feet of the building will house 317 units of prime residential space, all to be LEED Gold certified. This real estate will capture sweeping views of the Boston Harbor, the Charles River, and the city below. All of that is great, but it's not really what makes the building unique. What's remarkable about this building is the revolutionary energy performance and indoor air quality of its 810,000 square feet of commercial office space. For comparison, existing Class A office space in Boston uses a whopping 150% more energy than the office space at Winthrop Center will. Even LEED Platinum office buildings are energy hogs compared to this building using 60% more energy than Winthrop Center's office space. Meanwhile, this building will provide up to 50% more fresh air to building occupants than comparable buildings. How? The fresh air gains will come from a combination of passive house design and well standard certification. The energy performance gains and the greenhouse gas emissions reductions that come with it are 100% passive house. All of this office space will be certified by the Passive House Institute, making Winthrop Center the largest passive house office building in the world once it's completed. Wait, a skyscraper is a passive house, you ask? Doesn't sound like a house. What even is a passive house? We answer both of these questions in our Passive House Explained in Under Four Minutes video that you can find here. Essentially, the Passive House approach applies to all building types. In fact, it can be easier to achieve Passive House performance on bigger buildings than on single family homes. The approach is about building better, guided by building science, creating resilient spaces that keep the heat in during the winter and the cool in during the summer. Most importantly, Passive House buildings provide healthy, comfortable, and quiet interior environments full of clean, filtered fresh air. The design principles are straightforward. First, wrap the building in continuous insulation. Second, design out any thermal bridges or any building elements that allow heat or cool to bypass that insulation. Third, make the building shell airtight. Fourth, install high-performance windows and doors. And fifth, provide filtered fresh air 24-7 with a heat recovery ventilation system. At Winthrop Center, the first four steps are achieved through a triple pane, thermally broken curtain wall system by SodaWall, insulated with rock wool mineral wool insulation. The fifth principle is achieved with four massive energy recovery ventilation units manufactured by TMI. As part of the recent National Conference of the Passive House Network, MP Boston opened up the Winthrop Center to a construction site tour. Here's Brad Mahoney of MP Boston. When this started, it was this belief that we're contributing positively, right, to the built environment, showing that there's a new breed of building that's coming and we're gonna help lead the way. And as every year has gone by, we've kind of seen the need for this more and more, right? So on a personal level and professional level to feel like you're positively contributing to that, you're helping kind of redefine how buildings can be 
energy efficient and also be beautiful. And we think about the user that's going to be in this building, right? How are they going to feel? And if they know the story, they're going to feel good. For more of the latest and greatest in passive house and zero carbon building, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Thank you.